I'm back with another video and in this video we will see uh, what is the journey of a, the journey of a certified technical architect in Salesforce. So this video is for all those people who are aspiring to be technical architects. What uh, certifications you need to follow uh, to be a certified technical architect. So let's start. First of all, what does Salesforce CTA stands for? Salesforce CTA stands for Certified Technical Architect and we call uh, people as CTA if they have cleared uh, the Architect Review Board Evaluation and the Technical Architect Review Board Exam. So before giving the Technical Architect Review Board Exam, this uh, exam, you have to clear an evaluation and after you clear the evaluation then only you are eligible for the board exam. Now, what are technical architects? So technical architects possess broad knowledge across multiple development pl platforms and draw on their skills and experience to assess customer requirements and architecture to design scalable, secure, high performance technical solutions. Uh, so about these exam, uh, uh, how you can know more about uh, the certification on Trailhead. And what are the prerequisites for Salesforce CTA? The prerequisite is you have to be the application architect and you have to be a system architect. So let me go to the Trailhead site. Okay, so now I'm on the Trailhead site and if I'll go, uh, go to credentials and click on certifications, I have different roles here and I have to click on Salesforce architect. Uh, now you can see there are different architect exams. So application architect I mentioned and we would have a system architect and uh, this is the system architect exam and this is the technical architect. So we are currently focusing on the technical architect exam because this is like the most prestigious exam uh, in Salesforce. Uh, so you can see that uh, uh, here are your prerequisites. You have to be an application architect and you have to be a system architect and uh, you we also have a workshop link if you want to attend and uh, you can see there are two things we we can see the exam guide and we have this article architect review board evaluation so uh, if if you see for certified technical architect exam guide so if i scroll down i can see like uh, who sh should be the audience for this uh, and uh, about the exam so the prerequisite of this exam is you should have the architect review board evaluation completed with a passing grade. So if I go to the other art article, we will get more details on it. So about the CTA credential, uh, if you want to earn this, you have to uh, pass two things. Uh, step number one and step number two. The step number one, uh, it's like we have the details here and it, the registration fees is $1,500. So after you clear this, then you are eligible for the technical architect review board exam. And uh, the review board exam is for 4,500 USD. And uh, here are its instructions. I'll share the link, you can go through it. So uh, that was uh, the process uh, involved to become a Salesforce CTA. So if I'll show you, I've also created one flow chart, a roadmap. So I've also given the list of certifications which you have to do to be eligible to take the Salesforce Certified Technical Architect. So uh, to, to take this exam, you have to be Salesforce Certified Application Architect and Salesforce Certified System Architect. In the uh, To become an application architect, so application architect is not an exam basically. So it's like when you will complete these four certifications, you will automatically become the application architect. You will automatically get a notification that you have become an application architect once you complete these four uh, exams. For example, for the application architect, you have to be data architect, you have to complete data architect, you have to complete sharing and visibility, platform app builder and platform developer one. And uh, to become a system architect, as soon as you complete these four certifications, development lifecycle and deployment architect, identity and access management architect, integration architect and PD1, you will become automatically become a system architect. And once you have both these certifications, you are eligible for the Salesforce certified technical architect. And this has uh, two steps which I showed in the article. So what are the resources that you should follow for, uh, for preparing for a technical architect? So first is the Trailhead Academy course. Trailhead Academy course you can take, it's a really good resource. 
then we have the trail mix for the sales for CTA if I'll show you if I'll uh, click on the link so we have uh, uh, the, trail, the trailer team has created this trail mix with the links uh, that you need to prepare for then then it's like uh, there is a YouTube channel for Salesforce Architects. There is a, a median, medium.com Salesforce Architect page. And then the most important is the architect.salesforce.com. This is the official website uh, of Salesforce where we have all the architect uh, stuff. So this contains uh, wireframes, this contains pattern, anti-pattern. And uh, uh, the most used uh, data model diagrams etc so you can have a look and uh, people post their blogs as well on this website you can have a look here i'll share the link so this was a like uh, so this video i wanted to share for those people who want to become a technical architect in future so good luck on that journey and thanks everyone for watching the video do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone